Yeah, he really did. Uh, you know, uh, the Wilco we saw at Bells, for example, uh, was so confident. Uh, but on that wave, definitely looked shaky. He didn't drop down to the bottom and take that normal bottom turn to kick into his routine. But uh, a lesson learned there for Wilco. And now we're shaping up for heat number seven of round three. Gabriel Medina up against Adam Melling. Looking at most of the heats in this third round and the conditions on offer today, you'd say that form and, and maybe ability is somewhat evened up in most of the matchups. Not the case in this heat with Melling and Medina, though. So if you're a surfer that feels fidgety, if you only have one chance in a heat, there's a long lulls today, a lot of waiting. You have to capitalize when you take off. So whoever's going to be nervous today, it's not going to be a fun day of surf competition. And here is Medina just uh, during that, that break he caught this wave. So on cue right there, Medina is not that guy. He is Mr. Icy, Icy Veins. Back to live action now. This is Gabriel. So much speed down the line here at Jeffreys Bay. He's looking to take to the air, but he can't ride out of that move. Started well in 2016, uh, collecting some pretty decent numbers in the first round too. Well, you can bet the house that Gabriel Medina is going to go to the air today. Uh, you know, this is the type of day, normally at J-Bay, you're not looking to try to manufacture scores. And we might be seeing a, a bit of a pulse in the size right now be, because Adam Melling's out there with priority with a decent looking set wave approaching. And this could give Adam a real shot at taking out one of the favorites for this contest. Melling has to make the right decision here with priority. He's taken one of the first waves of the set, and there is more waves outside. Let's see what he can do with this. Nice slice off the top. Surfs with plenty of speed. Links together a couple of moves. But just behind him, Medina picks off this second swell line, and he loads up for something big on the inside. Driving into the lip. He gets that rotation. That wave is starting to bottom out on the inside, though, and Medina's not going to complete the rotation. It's just very tough. There's not a lot of options, not a lot of reps out there for the surfers, so it brings luck into the equation. But Kieran Perro, you know, he has a great team behind him. He's looked at the forecast. They're taking a lot of things into consideration, um, and the forecast, unfortunately, doesn't look like it's full of uh, a lot of options of swells. Gabriel Medina again hunting, looking for that ramp. Pretty tough to pull air off today because you're going to run out of water really quick. It's right on the bricks. You know, it's contestable. The guys are pulling it off, but uh, we're, we're really begging for that swell to fill in today. Maybe higher. Well, here goes Melling just tapping away at this insider. Maybe he'll get an opportunity to throw something big on this end section. Nice little tail slide. But there is no water covering those inside rocks at this stage. Might not even be contestable, so I'll have to keep an eye on that. Tough conditions out there for the competitors at the moment, Strider, as we see the replay of Melling. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you can see Melling, he, he's twisting away. He's got a nice little torque up into the bowl, but this end move on the inside is just not offering up an easy exit. And yet they really got to commit to it and when you do with that you're ending up right on the bricks I mean, you can see that right there a lot of these guys taking a an off the top or a floater finish and I think you know that is it's almost more dangerous than the option that Gabriel Medina is looking for because when you hit the lip or you take a floater off on that last section you're really coming down with a lot of speed uh, before the lip and trying to ride out in front of it to see the completion and as you do the backhand 360 rotation, you're going to see uh, he's going to land on top of the water. So right here, up and right, we're going to see if Medina tries it again, has a nice little hook. Another one, he's flying down the line to set up the inside corner. Bang, another nice snap into it again. He's going to finish with another climb again on the inside. Uh, but I really think that the rotation on the inside in the air is probably the safest move you could do out here because as you land, you get the cushion of the white water. But how's the number of moves he's able to squeeze into this tiny transition? Yeah, it's amazing. He, he, uh, the thing about Gabriel Medina, too, is he's so clutch. I don't ever feel like he has nerves when he's surfing on a wave. He's just trying to capitalize this wave just slow enough for him to kind of uh, put just a little more uh, rotation in those turns. You know, we're seeing these waves today. They're so fast and down the line. 
most surfers are going to just cut their maneuver short so they can continue on. If you put too much weight uh, into one turn, the wave's going to pass you up. But he is starting to really find his place. He's got a lot of confidence, and we know that's a dangerous thing. With Matt Wilkinson out of the contest in round three here, if Medina goes on to win, he'll be just 250 points behind Matt Wilkinson on the ratings. Alejo, no matter what way you put it, that was so stressful for us on land. How stressful was it for you in the water? Yeah, it was really stressful, you know, because every time I surf against Wico, he, he beats me and I, we had a hit in Fiji and he got me on that on the last wave. I was needing that same score, uh, 2.7 for like the whole hit and I, I ended up losing there. And so I was like in the water thinking I cannot lose needing a two points again. And I was trying to remind me like every year that I came here I, I had a good result and I was like this time it's not going to be different let's go let's go try another one and yeah it, it happened in the end. Alejo thank you for your time. Alejo continues his giant killing ways and his good history with this contest he's in round four lost out in the first heat of the morning we lost Italo in the third round as well. John John Florence Gabriel Medina still alive as we see Melling trying to reel in Medina's lead. Nice cut back there, really carving through that last manoeuvre, making sure he gets a finish on his best wave. See if you got anything substantial done on the outside. A little snap, another snap. See, everything's cut short because the wave's so fast. So he says, screw it, I'm going to rip into one turn. And I like that beautiful hack there from... Adam Melling, and that should be his best score. Watch the fins from this angle right here. You're going to see all that torque. This is a powerful surfer. Rips into it. You know, that's a lot of water being displaced in such a small little wave on the bricks. Melling fighting through injury at the moment, too, has uh, tweaked his ankle. But it didn't seem to affect him here, Ross. Uh, yeah, I have no. There's no signs at all. It just looks like he's very comfortable. That's a lot of. That's a tight space. Whenever the waves are small, um, you're kind of handcuffed. Those injuries usually kind of hinder you, but Adam looking pretty fresh this morning. And the number is in a six for Melling, so he has really given himself a shot now. He needs a 7.67. We'll see how Medina responds. He's got priority. Could be a medium-sized set wave approaching. Ten and a half minutes to go. Medina having a look at a wave here. Melling's got priority, so Medina just going a little deeper up the point. Just whacking off a couple of nice little turns on the outside. Bringing this one through to the inside. Just a slice down. Mostly transition turns so far, but can lift the number with something exciting on the finish, but that wave very tricky to read. Gamer Medina hunting up and down the point, just staying busy. A lot of people say that Medina's the scariest person to surf against when you hold priority. Because he just hunts around the inside looking for anything. And the, the more time you give him to build that moment, momentum and find that rhythm, the more likely it is that he's eventually going to throw out something well, ridiculous on the inside. Here we go. We've got a good looking set wave for Adam Melling. Using priority on this ride. Just a clean first turn. A, a really nice cut down off the top. Needs a strong finish though, as he builds speed. This wave is starting to really get shallow on the inside now, and Melling combos a couple of nice moves. Just behind him though, Medina. has had a couple of vertical hits already. Brings it through to the inside, the air reverse. <laughs> we knew the percentages were in his favor as far as his strike rate goes. It had a couple of unsuccessful attempts earlier, but got it done on that last move then. Easy to just get fidgety and feel uh, like light-footed and timid, but that didn't look like the case at all here for Adam. He looked confident. Each turn he pulled off, he ripped into it. No hesitation. Nice snap there, wisely cutting it short so they could get kind of a two-for-one there and a clean little off the lip to finish it. So um, that should be an excellent score for Adam Melling. This is what we wanted to see. Did Gabriel get anything substantial on the outside? Just a couple little backside wipes nothing too crazy so you know basically if he's gonna better a score it's gonna be all about that air the cool thing for Gabriel it had a lot of pop you know he got way above the lip on that air so it wasn't just a cute air it was solid 
and watch his surfboard and watch how high he gets above the lip. That's when you know you got that pop. Perfect technique, just kind of spinning around in the air, clearing his upper body so that he can rotate with ease. Wow, I mean, it doesn't get much more of a greased landing than that. Big number for Melang starting to drop. As we see the replay once again in Medina, just looking at what kind of damage he did on the outside before planting this turn on the shallow inside section. And that's exactly what we were talking about at the start of this heat, Ronnie, that he can manufacture scores out of an average wave. That wave would have been very, very easy, Gabriel's wave, to surf into a five, but he managed to get an 8.17 out of it, and it was all due to the talent that he could produce on that last move. Lofty score for Gabriel, but definitely it was a lofty error, so kind of hard to argue the difficult level, difficulty. Well, here is Melling, and he throws a little air reverse, maybe pulled the trigger a little early with on that one. See how Medina responds down the line. Melling's racing at the moment. Medina's actually going to go, utilizes his priority and tries to kick out. Melling, he might just get a shot here. 30 seconds to go, there is something else approaching, the crowd whistling. And he heard that too, he actually skipped that wave. And there is a bigger one out the back. Medina knows that he doesn't have priority, so he takes a chance on an insider. He'll go for something big here. Coils up and almost gets there, not quite enough rotation. This is Melling's shot, 10 seconds to go. This wave reeling off quickly, he's got to do some more damage. A nice little fin up. And he gets a solid finish over the bricks. Adam Melling is a 6.83. He's already dropped a 6. So there's an example for them to draw back on to see, is it better than that score? Can he turn the heat? So again, first two snaps, pretty good. A lot of speed. That last move, though, was his best maneuver. Uh, it was the most critical. Um, and, you know, it was a pretty crazy little section, and he got a little bit of tail release. So it's not out of the question. I don't have an answer right away. Usually I can tell you I think he got it, but this is very borderline. I think they'll go back and review the six. So the judge is having a look at his six-point ride from earlier on. And it really was all on one turn. His last wave, not too different, Ross. A couple of decent turns, but the last turn was the best. And probably a, a little more critical than the six. The six, you know, the problem with the six in, in far, as far as comparison is the the turn was so different. You know, he did a, a, a wide open, complete arc. But not quite close enough. A six point ride for the Australian. And Gabriel Medina. He hangs on to the lead and his hopes of closing in on Matt Wilkinson's lead are still alive.